Hi, this is Simon from Production Expert, and this is Loop Cloud by Loop Masters. This is a new innovative application that can be used as a standalone or integrated with a DAW, which is what I've got it uh, in at the moment, sequenced with uh, my DAW logic in the background. I've got an audio file in there, a wah guitar. Loop Cloud opens as a instrument, so you can download and install it, as well as the Loop Cloud drum and play applications. They're really useful tools as well. And you open Loop Cloud from within your DAW. It jumps online and you're able to um, access the 4 million plus loops and one-shot samples that are available uh, via Loop Masters. There's a really good search integration in this instruments, genres, labels, and formats. Their tagging is absolutely amazing. Um, and you can also add your own sample libraries, store them in the cloud as well. Oh, and not forgetting the kind of audio filters function here as well um, for further filtering uh, of your search criteria. So essentially, it's about this area down the bottom. We've got eight tracks in here. So we can actually build up uh, loop-based compositions within the app itself before then transporting them out into our preferred DAW. Um, but yeah, the integration is really good. So if I kind of play this for now and then, and then, and then go to Logic and play Logic, you can see that we can start from within Logic. Now, my logic file here um, is a D minor and in loop cloud, what I've been able to do is key lock. The pitch functionality in here is brilliant. I've key locked it to a D minor. So that all files that I bring in, absolutely this bass has kind of pitched this at five semitones up so that it tunes with my D, my D minor. Let's go to track three. Let's put another sound in the slot here. Now I've done a, a pre-search here uh, for some Rhodes. Thought it might be cool to have a little Rhodes piano uh, going in here. Let's play from within Logic again. Go to Loop Cloud. Let's listen to a couple of these. Okay, so I'm going to go with this one here. Yeah. All right, but check this out. We can go to pattern and start to play with these multitude of different patterns. We can chop the audio file up now. This is really good. So let's go for a bit of an arpeggiated house kind of vibe. Okay, we can scroll through these. Now that's a pretty cool vibe, I like that. So instant, instant stuff going on here. Let's stop that for a moment. From a DAW, go back to um, the open app of Loop Cloud. So yeah, we can play independently. You don't always have to hear that wah guitar in the background. Okay, cool. Now, look at this. We can go ch change the grid. We got, we're in 32s. So we can change all the grid positions. We can start to move this around and copy and paste these uh, chopped up regions. We can also turn them up and down. You can see this. We can kind of turn the volumes of the sounds up and down. We've also got these tools here so we can cut them into smaller elements. We can actually mute them. Uh, we've got pitch, further pitch controls here. So we could actually you know, uh, change change um, change the elements, semitones or octaves or whatever we decide that we want to do again. And then here, this is a bit of a favorite. Go to FX Edit and add an effect. And we're going to go for a filter here. Have a little bit of fun with that. So we've got the LFOs. Um, and let's go through some of these and see what actually happens. Let's play the file. And we'll go through some of the presets. Yeah, that's quite good fun. 
Now I like that as well, let's leave that. Let's turn the volume down on the overall file as well there. Excellent. Right, let's add another quick little effect in. Let's get a let's get a little bit of delay on that, why not? Let's get some short slap back. Turn that wet level down. So I've got a little bit there. Lovely. And now if I'm satisfied with that that I've done, I can then individually export each of the samples out and into my DAW, which I will actually do in a moment. Um, just to let you know, if we go down through some of these files, you can see that we've got 2P and 1P. If we use those files, we can preview and we can chop them, we can process them. Um, but before we uh, we can actually then drag them, uh, we can buy them. We can buy them before we then download them. And they'll be put in our library. We can use them over and over again as well. Really, 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 really useful. Uh, so I want to export just this file here, or we can go to the functions and export the whole current mix. But I want to export the processed track. So let's close that. And all we're going to do, it's highlighted on this one here. I'm going to drag that across and put that in and we can loop that. You know, we can open the app again and we can go to the beats there, drag those out straight into the DAW and you can of course see that happening there as well. Bang, all in the DAW. A really, really clever application, really, really useful for its DAW integration. Uh, brilliant. I really enjoyed using, I am really enjoying using this software. So, of course, this video is part of a more detailed look at Loop Cloud. And if you want, want to know more, please follow the link. See ya.